Hi guys, this is video number nine. It's the one you've all been waiting for. Hopefully at the end of this we'll have this engine running. These are all the bits and I've cleaned them up. There's a few little jobs still to do. I've lapped everything nice and clean and smooth. We need to lock tight this pin into this cylinder. That's one job. We need to lock tight this bearing into this frame and then we need to assemble it so first job I've got some Loctite primer awful vile stuff use gloves I've given all these bits a bit of a clean up with this it's not a particularly nice substance and it stinks it burns the sinuses a bit but um, that'll make sure the the job sort of holds and I've just got some 609 which is a retaining compound and that'll do for everything as well so we've put a just a drop on there doesn't want very much and screw that into the middle hole there nice and square and tight And we'll leave that be for a bit. Now this bearing, which we've cleaned up too, needs to go in from the back, which is this side with the exhaust port. Towards the front, which is this side with the two, the two ports for the cylinder. So just a little bit on there. It won't take much to hold that. If it's a reasonable fit, that's way too much. We'll clean some of that off. And it needs to go in from that side. We'll give him a bit of a turn as he goes and push him home nice and smooth. Now they'll hold in about 10 minutes so we might let them be for a bit. Next bit's the base. When you work out which way round you want this, whether you want it that way with the piston or that way. Um, it stands up better that way. And there's a screw to go in that that we filed off specially. We put that in and we tighten it up with the Allen key. So that's that together, and that should be plenty good enough. This part we can put together is the cylinder head. Take a bit of care because this one's a push fit in there. We we'll just take a bit of care to get these little screws lined up first. Start them all before you push it home it's a lot more likely to be trouble free theoretically they should go in anywhere um, in, the in real life they probably don't when we get them started we can push them home nicely and tighten them up little I think that's a one point I think it's a one millimeter allen key if you've got one if you don't, you better go and get one because they need to be tight. I've made that a good push fit, so I haven't put a gasket on there. Uh, if your head's a bit loose, it mightn't hurt, or a bit of gasket goo or something, or even a bit of red paint or something like that to hold it in place. And it'll start with be one less place to leak. So that's the cylinder complete. The next job is to make sure this is nice and clean. And we've got our trusty oil can here, so I'm going to give that a little bit of oil, just a drop. Nice clean oil. We can push that in there. Get some of that oil around, maybe even put another drop back in there afterwards. It should have good suction there and it should be bouncy. Hold the cut finger over that hole. Cylinder complete. Now a little bit of oil on the crank. Same thing, make sure everything's nice and clean, just a little bit of oil. And slip that through from that side.
Now flywheel, big side in. We'll click in there like that. And our washer. And our nut. Nice and firm. The ring spanner. Thing is to thread this on here. And on here. Drop oil just there on the on the big end. That together. Now I had a bit of a look around and I found this spring. It's a um it's probably out of a photocopy or something, it's stainless steel. Seems to be about the right size, so I'm going to sit that on there and we're going to put the nut on. This is a nice firm thread, so we shouldn't have to worry too much about it unscrewing. But if you find yours does unscrew, make another lock nut to go on the outside. It's a good little turning exercise for you. Here we go. So what are we all waiting for? That's the better and looking pretty sweet. So I've started the air compressor. Now oh, I've got this rotten little hose, it's only a little air compressor. But it should be enough to get this running. We put that over there like that towards the back of the workbench. Just a drop of oil down the doesn't want much. Just a drop of oil down there for some cylinder lubrication. Give him a couple of spins. And there you go guys, that's the little oscillator engine running. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I rather like the way it's gone together. It's running pretty smooth. And it's running A little bit stiff there maybe, but that'll free up with time. So where do we go from here? Have a bit of look at some of the things that I have done here that I haven't really mentioned in the video. One is that you'll notice that this washer is different to the one that I machined in the video. I've replaced that about four times to get this end float right. That took a bit of messing around to get it right. It's just enough to hold this on on the port face here. Is how it wants to be, and that's about a. I guess if we have a look at it, it's about 0.6 millimetre, something like that wire, and it's about a quarter of an inch diameter, and it's got about four turns on it. So, a spring, that's probably about how you want it. Apart from that, there wasn't really many other places or, or jobs that I did twice, and there wasn't too many stuff-ups. It's quite a nice little engine. I'm going to add a disclaimer here. Uh, no one's really pointed out yet, but some of my workplace safety regime is not really up to scratch. And it's my workshop and I do what I like. And I am careful. My lathe isn't particularly highly powered and you can stop it with one hand pretty easily and it does the job but a lathe with rebelts and a lathe with a bit more horsepower you probably want to be a bit more careful and just pay a little bit of attention to what you're doing the other thing that I I really wanted to to say is thanks to all my new subscribers through this series I really appreciate your input and taking a look. I really I do like to share what I do in the workshop. And 
and it's wonderful really to see that some people are re actually interested this series by the time it's completed will have had about six seven hundred individual views of each of the videos and hopefully someone makes one so anyway that's part nine and that's going to be the conclusion we'll give it another run hey eh?